Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. I am at my third mining location, which is not my place, but it's my brother's. And as you guys can see, I've shown you guys this before in past videos. As you guys can see, look at this thing, the Batmobile or the Tumbler, I believe. And this thing is crazy. And uh, the Enforcement Droid, Robocop, look at this thing. Oh, this thing is my favorite. This is my favorite. And then Batman's motorcycle. I don't know the name of it, but uh, that's pretty cool. And all of the Autobots and Decepticons. Oh no, Autobots and then Decepticons. I don't know my Transformers that well, but maybe you guys do. Anyways, guys, I'm here to change up my 12 by 1060 6 gigabyte rig. And I've had this rig for now. It's been running for about two and a half years now. Solid rig. I have it mining on SMOS and it's mining Ethereum at the moment and as you guys can see the total hash rate is about 276 to 280 mega hash per second so each card is doing about 23 to 23.3 mega hash per second on each card and I want to get more mega hash out of this rig now because I've had this rig mining Ethereum strictly Ethereum for a long time now and I want to now get some more mega hash out of it. So what we're going to do today in this video is transform it into a Windows rig. Now I know a lot of you guys are getting your pitchforks out right now. Red Panda, don't don't put Windows back. Don't put Windows on it. Just stick with SMOS. H hear me out guys. Hear me out. What what I what I want to do is because in Claymore 14.7 and because in Windows only you're allowed to do the dash strap 1 through 6 with NVIDIA cards and in in SMOS or Hive or any of the Linux distributions there is no way to do the NVIDIA memory strap injections and I, I don't know if there's another way to do it but the only way I know how to do it at this moment is through Claymore 14.7 and that's in Windows so I'm going to convert this. I have my Windows Mining ISO, which uh, I know some of you guys have heard me talk about in previous videos, uh, which you can go come to my Discord if you guys want the link to download it. It's it's there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead now. Let's let's clean this thing up, okay? It's it's pretty dusty. It's been about a good 6 months now and you guys can see a lot of dust has been accumulating on this motherboard. Also, you guys know this motherboard. It's the good old Azrock Pro BTC Plus board. This thing is rock solid, guys. Two and a half years runtime now. It's seriously really good. I mean, not fully two and a half years runtime, but you know what I mean. Uh, a few restarts here and there, but it's 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 been solid ever since. I haven't had to restart it for a long time. Throughout a couple months, and uh, it's really good, guys. Two 850 watt thermal take, gold rated power supplies. And uh, just a regular, it's not a, it's not a SSD, but just a regular mechanical hard drive and four or eight gigabytes of RAM, I, I don't know which one, and a G3930 processor. Pretty solid rig, guys. All right, so what I'm going to do first is we're going to blow the dust out and then we'll install Windows. Shutting down the miner. Come on, SMOS. Uh, by the way, I love SMOS. It's, it's been solid for me. For the past two and a half years, I got nothing against SMOS. I want to put it into Windows and see if I can get more mega hash than uh, what I'm currently getting. Here comes the carnage. Let's do it. Dusty, real dusty. Look at that, look at that. Gross. All right, that's much better. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh, that was good. Lots of dust, man. My my brother's place is really dusty. So after about six months, it's garnered a lot of dust. This is not like my uh, second mining location where it has pretty minimal dust, but all nice and clean now. I got the mouse. I got the keyboard. I got the Windows mining U oh, Windows mining USB plugged in, and we're just going into Windows now. All right, we're gonna click on next. We're going to delete the SMOS partitions that was on this existing hard drive. And then we're going to click on uh, Next. And yeah, it's going to install Windows now. This should take about a good 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, Windows is booting in. Alright, there we go. And just to mention guys, a great thing about this Windows ISO is that we don't need to go through that whole setup of, you know, clicking on next, next, uh, Cortana, whatever, all that stuff. Um, this mining OS is already pre-configured with a admin and it'll just go straight in. It'll, it'll just go straight in, you don't have to do anything. Another great thing about this mining ISO for Windows is that there's a lot of different services that are disabled. The big, the big ones are like Cortana and... Uh, Windows update, you can see it's already disabled by default in this Windows mining ISO. And yeah, it's it's really handy uh, because mainly you just need to have, you know, your Windows Defender and firewall and make sure you have all your exclusions and everything. But let's just go ahead now. We're going to go and do the basic Windows stuff that we need to do in order to get this to get this system all set up for my 12 GTX 1060s. So, we'll go to Advanced, so we're going to go to Change, we're going to uh, make the paging file. Let's just say I got 12 cards, let's just do, this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so I'm just going to do like 120,000, uh, there we go, megabytes, 120 gigabytes of paging file. I'm just going to do 10 gigabytes per card, I, I don't think we need to do 10 gigabytes per card because the DAG file is like, for Ethereum is like less than what, <clears throat> less than four gigabytes right now. Okay, so enable the paging file. Let's go to device manager. Let's see if we got 12 cards here. Yeah, so one, two, this is the onboard video card. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beauty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download Google Chrome uh, with Edge, good old Edge. So what I what I usually go to is 98.com. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to choose the apps we want to install. Chrome, that's what I want. Um, what else? Uh, let's see here. I got 7-zip. You need 7-zip, that's for sure. And uh, that's it. I think I'm going to need TeamViewer later on. Uh, I like Classic Start as well, and I like Putty as well. Okay, so get your 9.8 and it will download an installer that will install all of those programs that I just checked off as you guys can see here I'm gonna close this now and you guys can see see it's downloading Chrome, 7-zip, Putty, Classic Start and TeamViewer alright, now it's all done I got into Google Chrome <clears throat> and we're going to download the motherboard drivers because as you guys can see here uh, it's missing a few drivers for the motherboard. So this is an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus board on their website. Just gonna go download, and we're gonna get go ahead and download. I think this driver and the INF as well. And I think that's all we need. Oh, I'm gonna need the onboard video driver as well. So download that, and we're gonna get rid of those exclamation marks. Uh, just using 7-zip to unzip all of these programs. We're going to go ahead and install the management engine components. Uh, I accept. Next, next, next. Alright, that got rid of one of the exclamation marks, so we're going to do the Intel, the chipset driver. And there we go, all of those exclamation marks are gone. So the motherboard drivers are all in. And now I'm just going to go ahead and give this machine a good restart before we download the NVIDIA drivers. And now, last thing to do, I think we're just going to install the NVIDIA driver. So we got to go ahead and download it here. So let's go to 10 series. 
Uh, we are GTX 1060s, 64-bit start search. And we're going to download the latest one from July 29. Oh yeah, we can't forget to download MSI Afterburner. That's pretty much my go-to for NVIDIA cards. And as well, we're going to download the Claymore 14.7 Supercharged Edition. Okay, so we're going to install the NVIDIA driver, and I always install it manually. I never install it by double clicking on this. I always, I always extract it from 7-zip and you'll get the uh, NVIDIA driver in a folder with all the drivers. And then I just go ahead, right click the first GPU and then we're going to go update driver, uh, browse, and we're going to browse to that folder that we just extracted for the NVIDIA driver which is there. Click OK, click on next and there we go and now we just have to wait this takes a good couple minutes to do so it's it's basically installing the driver for all 12 of the cards so we're gonna see in a couple minutes all, the, all of these drivers installed and it's installed NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabytes and we hit close and it looks like it needs to restart ah okay Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to make sure the stuff that I saved up here is not going to go away. Settings, and continue where you left off. Okay, that's just so when I close this browser, all my tabs will come back up. And yes, it's going to restart. 12 GTX 1060s. Perfect. Look at that. These are the Zotac Minis, in case you guys are wondering. All right, now we're going to download Claymore Miner. So I've already went ahead and downloaded it. And for some people, you guys may get this, Chrome has blocked it. So if you get that message, you just have to go to show all. Uh, go to, you'll see here, it'll say remove from list or keep the dangerous file. So we're going to click on keep dangerous file, keep anyway, and it'll download it. And then we're going to go ahead and ex extract it. Right click, 7-zip, and extract. Takes a few seconds depending on your processor, and you guys will see, boom, there we go. Okay, now we're also going to download MSI Afterburner, uh, which I download from guru3d.com, uh, and I already went ahead and downloaded it. So we got to go ahead and install that, and we got to unzip this as well, and then we're going to install it. All right, it's completed, finish, run M MSI Afterburner, uh, nope, don't need to do that. And close this. We go to MSI Afterburner, should open up here. There it is. Okay, we can just go ahead and set the overclock and power limits for the 1060s here. Uh, let's go with uh, 70, let's go 75 power limit. And let's do minus 200 core clock because we're doing Ethereum. Ethereum is memory based. And let's do 600, plus 600 memory, because these are micron memories. Uh, Zotac 1060, 6 gigabytes. And we're going to do 60% fan here. Oops. And check mark. Okay, so that should be applied to all the cards. And now we're going to go ahead and open up Claymore. Alright, so we got the batch file up for Claymore 14.7. And I've already gone ahead and added the folder path just so that we can run it as an administrator, okay, as you guys can see. And this is just the default on Ethereum, on Ethermine. And this is the default Claymore Ethereum address. And this, this is what I've added here is the dash strap 4 and minus dbg minus 1. So that's just so it doesn't create any log files. And you guys may be asking why am I using number 4 because the strap number 4 seems to be the best for micron memory for NVIDIA cards. But you guys can test this out, you know, mileage may vary uh, between strap 1 and 6. You guys can try different straps. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and we're going to go ahead and run it and see what kind of mega hash we get. Alright, there, run as administrator. Alright, let's see what we get guys. Moment of truth. Alright, Claymore 14.7 sees 12 cards. Strap 4 is applied successfully. 
And what are we going to get here? Creating the DAG. So we were getting 278 mega hash before on SMOS. That's as high as I could get it. And now on Windows, let's see. 175 mega hash. Oh, that sucks. Just kidding. It's not done yet. Still creating the DAG for some. Okay, 263, 300 mega hash. Yes. Okay, guys, look at this. Um, at 1,080 watts, so that's a pretty much that's the exact same amount of watts as as I had in SMOS. And you guys can see around 300 mega hash, around 24 to 25 mega hash per GTX 1060. Um, you guys can see here 1,042 watts now, 84 watts at the wall for each card. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm uh, from 278 to 300. So we've pretty much garnered another GTX 1060 in terms of hash rate. <clears throat> That's pretty much all I wanted to achieve on this. I'm going to watch it for another, you know, 10, 20 minutes and make sure it's stable. But let me know what you guys think. This is pretty much all I wanted to achieve with this. Uh, now that we've garnered, you know, another 22 to 24 mega hash in Windows. So surprisingly, because we're using the Claymore with the dash strap, that's pretty much the only thing that I've, that's, that's the difference between SMOS and Windows that I can do the dash straps. Let me know what you think and uh, smash the like button, all that good stuff if you guys appreciate what I'm doing here. And uh, let me know if you guys want me to test anything with this rig next time. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.